Reddit, what's the funniest thing that a random stranger said to you that made you die laughing inside? Someone called me, said piece of pizza in a Mexican accent and hung up. I find young gentleman was once introduced to me as Big Dick Kyle. Met a guy while camping a few years ago, he told us, matter of factly, that he was a redneck hippie back in the 60s. He was there for the sex and the drugs, but not so much that love and peace shit. We still crack up about that. No so much said to me as overheard. Walking down the street with my fiancé after dinner, a man and woman pass us. Very clearly I heard the man say, comma and that's the second time I got crabs. I just keep a special little comb at the house now, just in case. I'm not sure of any particulars and have thought about that interaction often. So many questions. I know they heard me laugh though. I was riding the T. Subway, home one night with a Spikes Junkyard sandwich, of the buffalo chicken variety. A clearly drunk guy with his girlfriend said to me are you going to face fuck that sandwich to which I replied yes. He then turned to his girlfriend and said babe let's get some buffalo chicken. I work in retail, and I'm not sure why, but this had me dying for a while. I still laugh when I think about it. Me, how you doing today, sir, customer, yep. And he went on his way. I was rollerblading down a hill too fast, and landed on my ass. Painful, sure, but not excruciatingly so. An old man walked by and said in the most jolly voice, Is your behind okay, young lady? I was shaking of laughter. My behind was okay, yes. I used to be a smoker. One time a scruffy looking man asked me for a light. I told him I only had matches. It was very windy. He said, that's okay, there's a trick to it, you light the match and then suck down real hard, you get a mouthful of sulfur that way, but you gotta have a trick when you're going 30 miles an hour on top of a tank. A few months ago I was waiting at a road crossing with loads of other strangers, waiting for the man to turn green. This was a busy main road in my city, a little girl on the other side of the road did the most accurate impression of the beep beep that the crossing makes so blind people know it's safe to cross, and the entire crowd of people just stepped into the road, I had seen her do it, so I stayed put, but I couldn't stop laughing, my girlfriend was confused, 50 adults pranked by one absolute genius 6 ish year old, it was magical. I was in the drive through of a Wendy's one time. An employee exited the building with his headphones on and was singing who let the dogs out at the top of his lungs. He saw me, stopped singing, and started walking away. A few seconds later he come up to my window and said, yes, that is what I'm listening to. Then he walked away. I laughed so hard at the whole situation. Didn't tell me straight but only overheard. So this guy was talking to his phone and IDKY but his face looked so serious and he was almost red as tomato. He anger. The phone was on loudspeaker mode. I forgot what to call the thingy when you call someone. And he and the one he's talking to was arguing over that green guy who owned a swamp and has a donkey friend and the guy on his phone was saying its name was Shrek. And he was saying it was called a smurf. They were screaming to each other and people just ignore them and get confused. An old man on the street with a big, jacko lantern grin on his face and two chihuahuas under each arm loudly proclaiming to no one in particular, I used to carry grenades, now I carry dogs. Something I overheard as two kids walked past our caravan park site, a rumbling boom of distant thunder. Kid 1, I like thunder, it sounds like a 200 year old dog who's retired and helps old people who are blind to get around. Kid 2, silence. Kid 1, you know? Kid 2, but why is it retired? Kid 1, because it's old. Kid 2, but it's still helping blind people. Kid 1, silence. Okay, the laughter was not entirely inside, but years ago on the subway in NY, a crazy dude walks on the train and screams at everyone you're all going to hell and then steps off as the doors close. Total silence as the weirdness of the moment settles in. Then, without missing a beat, guy across from me goes, shit, I thought this train was going to Harlem. Entire subway car of cynical New Yorkers bursts out laughing. Watched a guy walking to class at my college years ago saying get the fuck out of my way to a pigeon standing in his path. The pigeon quickly waddled off to the side. 
I was doing tech support over the phone for an internet company at a call center. I got a call from an elderly woman because her internet stopped working. After checking remotely that the modem was working and that there was no issues on her area, I was scheduling a visit from one of our technician when she suddenly says, Oh, I know what happened. The cat was playing around the router yesterday, right? You think it took a cable or something? No. He probably took away the Wi-Fi. You mean like he moved the router? No. No. He probably took the airwaves or the Wi-Fi. You know how cats see things we can't. He surely say the Wi-Fi signal grabbed it and took it away. It took all my willpower to not laugh in her face and finish the call. I must have been about 10 or 11. I sat down on a bench next to an old guy to sort my shoe out. I took my shoe off and he just turns to me and says are they golfing socks I look at him with a completely blank look on my face thinking wtf as I looked away he just said there's a hole in one was leaving walmart and the 80 ish year old greeter says thanks for shopping at dollar tree worked at a smoke shop that sold electronic cigarettes years ago a customer came in complaining that the new flavor made her pee smell funny i couldn't keep a straight face when i said i wasn't sure if that was related then she says oh well it could be an std or something i guess thanks and walked out man i respect women I would never ever hit a woman, but I'd cut a bitch up, homeless man. I ain't gay, I'd never let a man blow me, but I'd blow him for money, same homeless man. He's my hero. I was helping a customer pick out a new bra and she said she wanted her breasts to be lifted. She said, my boobs are so saggy that if my nipples were eyeballs, I'd be able to see if my shoes were untied. I really tried my best to remain professional but I couldn't stop laughing lol. I have a five and a half pound chihuahua. He's about as intimidating as a bunny rabbit. I was walking him on the grass along the road. A couple of walkers were coming near me and my dog started barking at them so I picked him up. The guy says, thank you for picking him up. We were really scared. Just the other day checking out at the Cracker Barrel, the older gentleman ringing my wife up accidentally said, with all confidence, have a thank you. I was grocery shopping yesterday, a what seemed to be single mum, judging by the stressed out behavior, was there with her two girls, both aged between 5 and 8. The girls were really enjoying shopping, touching every item, speaking to every employee and customer, goofing around really hard. Their mum kept telling them to stop and apologize every minute to somebody, getting even more stressed. I passed by the girls, the older one played witch using a flashlight that was on display, working spells on anyone nearby, so she put her spell on me to making me a giant. I am 2.08m tall weighing 150 kilograms. She yelled, mum look, it worked, I made him big I was already laughing. What really made me die laughing inside, was when mum, ultimately stressed apologized on autopilot, while doing the shopping, looked up and I saw her face trying to look sincere, while hiding her laughter. I once was canoeing with my fiancé for the first time and we were having a bit of trouble at first getting a rhythm going so we were along the edge of the water hitting the canal. This random couple was walking along the wall and said to his wife while pointing at us, Our canoeing, the true test of love. My fiancé and I bursted into laughter for 20 minutes and then finally got our rhythm together. When I was around 10 my dad took my brother and me to a Sox game at Fenway. We get to the park and I was putting mustard on a hot dog from one of those mustard box push down nozzle things. This random guy next to me goes yeah buddy, lather that bitch up. 10 year old me thought it was about the funniest thing I'd ever heard. And I still chuckle when I think about it as an adult. Years ago when queuing up for movie tickets with my family, the attendant asked the ages of our four kids to see if they could all get children price tickets. I announced their ages, 7, 9, 11 and 13. Without missing a beat, the stranger behind us declared, that's an odd group. I, white F, used to work at a public library. A black guy asked if we had diary of a wimpy white boy aka diary of a wimpy kid. Racial tensions were high in this neighborhood so it felt extra good to laugh with him. A few years ago I let my friend cut my hair. 
It did not go well. I was living in Philadelphia at the time and was walking through South Philly when I passed two strangers in the middle of the conversation. As I pass, one of them says to the other, hold up, I gotta talk to this guy. He proceeds to shout to me, Ayo, your hair looks like shit, come over here. I was amused, partially because of his bluntness and partially because he wasn't wrong. I was curious, so I walked over to him. He says, look, a buddy of mine owns a barber shop two blocks away. Here's his business card. I'll write my name on there. If you mention that I sent you he'll give you a good deal. Bruh, but seriously take care of that shit. I never ended up going to his friend's shop. But I frequently use this story as the perfect example of Philly culture. Rude, blunt and in your face yet somehow coming from a place of genuine care. Plus, it's fucking hilarious. Little girl to me after I explain my service dog helps me when I'm sick. Oh, so he's your dog tour. Me, trying to keep a straight face. Yes, exactly. When I served, I had a table of about 20 Asian people. The head of the group shook my hand and introduced himself as Tony. Tony the tiger. He tried to sound cool and tough, but all I could think of was the serial mascot. Edit. Wow 2.1 likes. I want to add that when I repeated back in a slightly skeptical voice Tony the Tiger he did a cat claw motion and said rah. Like a tiger. At a festival and sitting around the campfire when a very intoxicated man kept saying I need to borrow your fireplace he wouldn't let it go. Despite being right by the fire. Turns out he needed a lighter for his cigarette and was so drunk that he forgot what it was called. My laughter was not internal. I died laughing right in front of him.